So um, there's a lot of information out there on the internet. Uh, one of the sites I'd like to recommend is from the Canadian Neurological Association. And I just want to show you how you can find, actually I have a book that's on the table over there as well, um, how to find those booklets and a whole bunch of other urology information. You just, um, down here is patient information. And when you click on patient information, you go to that website and then you get to here and you can see all the urology subjects. When you click bladder, you'll get the bladder cancer and the BCG. And a few more. So that's that. Um, treatments we give are BCG, BCG with interferon, and mitomycin on its own. And they're only for superficial disease. So we don't need to treat the whole body, we just need to treat that lining of the bladder. There's always chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and the surgery that Dr. Kasub spoke about. Um, so the BCG is the same thing that's used to vaccinate against tuberculosis. It's a live, weakened culture preparation of the mycobacterium. Um, in 1976, Dr. Morales from Kingston came up with the idea of using it in the bladder. They were trying it on different things, on different kinds of cancer, it didn't work, but he certainly hit it right on the head when he tried it on bladder cancer. And 1980 was the first time there was a Journal of Urology article and it compared the surgery only, a surgery followed by BCG. So I started in 1983 in the Urology Center and we were doing a study at that time. So I've been giving BCG since it was a research drug. So I may be the word person, nurse, giving urology, uh, BCG the longest in the world. But, and I have a colleague who's just a few months behind me. Um, how, it, how it works isn't really known. And we really knew very little for a long time. But it does help the bladder produce killer cells and T cells, which sound very nasty, and that's what we want against those tumors. Um, interferon is used to stimulate the immune response. And, sorry, that's on the, okay. Interferon is used to inter stimulate the immune response, and it's used usually if the plain BCG hasn't worked. In that case, we use a third of the dose of the BCG with the interferon. And it helps to lengthen the time before another tumor develops, and it prevents them from becoming more aggressive. Um, in one study in the Journal of Urology, the combined BCG and interferon, 63% uh, of patients were disease-free after a year, and 53% with only BCG. Um, so I'll just go through, because this is actually from our patient information booklet. And um, it's a drug that needs to be treated with respect. It's very safe if you treat it with respect. And in theory, you can get TB. And how you get TB is you breathe it in. So anything that causes a spray, you try to avoid. Um, sorry, I'm going ahead. Uh, so you, 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 your immune system must be normal when you do this um, and there's no infection and no bleeding because we don't want to put the bacteria in your bladder when there's blood and there's open blood vessels and it's absorbed. It can really make you sick. Um, how do we do this? We ask you to urinate first because then we use a small catheter, put it inside your bladder and drain out any more urine. The medication uh, comes in a 50 ml syringe. We just, just push it in and take out the catheter and you go home. Um, Dr. Morales in his original study did this and you'll still see this on the internet because there's never been randomized studies comparing the two. So if you look on the internet, the internet and some centers do various versions of this, they have the patient lie down for two hours and they turn every 15 minutes with the idea that this is how you're going to cope the bladder all the time. And the bladder, BCG bladder booklet says BCG must be kept in contact with the bladder lining for it to be effective. 
This may be improved by lying down on your front, back, and each side for 15 minutes at a time over one hour. So you hold it in by not urinating for two hours. The Canadian drug book for the approved medications says patients should not be immobilized. So there's no standardization in this, and it's one thing you have to be careful about when you're doing in research on the web, because things can be quite confusing at a time. Um, yeah. So how do you, how in theory can you get TB? Because we didn't do any of this in 1983. One of the thing is men, when they stand to urinate, create a spray. Well, you don't want to breathe in that spray. So we ask you to sit down for six hours, as long as there may be viable bacteria around. Also, the other thing that causes the spray is flushing the toilet. So if you pour two cups of Javex bleach in the toilet, you wait 15 minutes, there's no danger when you flush. Um, so we don't, if you have an appointment, if you've got any symptoms, we want you to call us first before you come in. If you have the flu or the cold, it's safe to skip a week, no problem. But you don't want to do it when your immune system is taxed by anything else. Um, yeah, there's different protocols around as well. At the VIC, we often do the once a week for six weeks, which has existed since the day one. And then it's followed in three months and six months, with three weeks in a row. And then every six months for two or three more years after that, three weeks in a row again. Because it takes six weekly sessions the first time to build up that immune response. And after, and it's like the vaccinations, we have a child. You need less and less to produce the same effect. So now we're having tetanus shots every 10 years. Um, you can go from three months to six months. Um, yeah, so the symptoms are the irritation. So you can be tired, you can have flu-like symptoms. 50% of patients say they see blood. And often that's a panicky thing, but if in the first 24, 48 hours, don't worry about it. It's just the inflammatory reaction. It's not another tumor, because that is very afraid of. Um, you're not going to lose your hair. It's not chemotherapy. Um, I forgot to say, ECG and interferon together or singly have pretty much the same side effects. So the instructions are the same for everything else. Um, yeah. The burning, you need to push fluids afterwards to get it out. Um, I'm also going to talk about mitomycin C a little bit. We don't have patient information booklets on that. I've looked on the web. There's nothing that says what we want to say as well. It has so much, um, mitomycin C is a large molecule, so when you put it in the bladder, it's not absorbed. You give it intravenously for other cancers, it's very toxic, expresses the immune system and everything. Um, we used to do blood tests first and monitor the patient's white blood cell counts. We don't do that anymore. Um, it's not dangerous for that. Um, because it's a strong medication, the first time you urinate, you need to rinse. Um, but otherwise, you can have a bit of burning, you can have some bleeding, you can have the fatigue, but not nearly as much as with the BCG. So that's it for me.